I, for one, would like to see one more support for counselors. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you the only one? No, there are eight of us, but... Uh, How many students are you talking about there? Uh, well, one person is uh, dedicated to 20 special needs students. There are seven of us with about 2,000 students. Yeah. So uh, between 250 and 260 each month. Well, that's, that's a lot. And, a lot. And, uh, mm -hmm. and also beginning earlier, uh, when do you begin to do? When do you begin counseling students and their families? With, uh, on this specific on, on higher education? Probably in the 10th grade. Yeah, uh, that's good. We would love to start it sooner. Yeah. Uh, uh, to start as much time as we'd like. Because the earlier, yeah. the earlier families get an idea of what's involved and what's expected academically and all of other things, I think really helps a family, parents with their children, uh, getting focused on, on all this. Right. And I've, one of the things I ran into in my state, again, I want to be careful here, but talking about every state across the country, but that I was asked the question about how many counselors they are in Concord, where you are, is because many guys, the, the, the few number of counselors they are, the tendency is to focus on the children who are doing very well. And, 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 uh, and so there's a the tendency, because that's successes, where there's students who have the potential of doing a lot better and will do better in time, right. not getting the kind of support because they don't, they're not as a, well, they don't pop up as quickly. Modifying our thrust, and yeah. I think a lot of other high schools are too, one of our goals at Concord High is to have every single senior apply to college and hopefully attend right yeah. out of high school. Um, and I think that, that that's going to put a squeeze on the state schools. It's going to put the squeeze physically, I think, on community colleges. Yeah. And I think